by Ryan Weathers, and he picks off another. This season, Ryan Weathers leads Major League Baseball with seven pickoffs. Impressive for a rookie. Understand that picking a runner off at the rate that Weathers is doing it is an art. Usually, the first note on the scouting report for a left-handed pitcher is his pickoff move. So it's pretty remarkable that he still leaves base runners looking this foolish. Got him. Picked off. What I want to start with is what the runner and umpire are looking for when it comes to the rule of a left-handed pitcher's pickoff move. Freeze it right there. Let's draw a line where Ryan needs to step in order for this not to be a balk. It's about roughly 45 degrees from the edge of the rubber. As you can see, the umpire is in perfect position as Weathers is in mid-delivery. But if he were to step towards home plate, he cannot throw to first base. Ryan holds his decision to the last second, which is key here, and is able to draw now teammate Adam Frazier off the bag for an out. Now we move to Juan Soto of the Nationals, which was one of the most recent victims. And as you can see, he has that leg going towards first base. But check out Soto turn his head and eyes towards home plate here. As a base runner, one thing you can't do is assume a left-handed pitcher is going to the plate. Part of the reason Juan Soto is fooled here is that when Ryan comes to the balance at the top of his motion, not you, nor I, nor anyone in the stadium knows if Ryan is going to first or to home plate here, which for a pitcher is the exact spot you want to be in. Oh. And they got it picked off of first base. He was frozen and now he's out. Let's go back to earlier in the year in Texas. Now, one of the keys to being so deceptive is also acting like the runner isn't even there. Check this out as Ryan never peeks to first base to hold the runner until the very last second. As a base runner, another thing to look for is if Ryan's kick leg crosses the rubber at any point in his delivery. If so, he would have to deliver the ball to home plate. Rewind it back. You can see here, Ryan doesn't even go past his plant leg. Nevertheless, the rubber. Add the ball placement for an easy tag by Hosmer, and you got yourself a pretty sweet pickoff move. Now, the last clip I'll show you is the one that completes the pickoff arsenal, if you will, of Ryan Weathers. Here against Seattle, Ryan shows off his quick step-off move. Now, most guys who have a step-off move usually can't get enough on the throw to make it a competitive move. That's not the case here with Ryan. You can see it's timed perfectly as Mitch Hanniger is caught looking at home plate. Once again, another runner not paying attention and not seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand. Most pitchers hold a runner on with their eyes. Ryan never looks to first at all and is still able to beat Hanniger back to the bat. Oh, and a pickoff at first base. Hanniger picked off. So to wrap this all up, it's clear that Ryan's lax disregard of holding runners combined with his deceptive ability to wait until the last second to throw over is what makes him the most effective pickoff artist in the game. Thanks for watching Tony's Film Room.